Hey, this is our last one on Kano Maps. So, a part of the reason that we use Kano Maps is it's so helpful in simplifying expressions. So, mostly going from a truth table is really quite challenging. So, we're going to go from a truth table to an expression, um, and then I'm going to show you how I would have gone from a truth table to an expression using a Kano map and how that makes it easier. So I'm just going to go through one example and talk you right through it all. Okay, so the point is we're starting with a truth table. And normally what we would do in going from a truth table to an expression is we start off by looking at every row that is results in true. And so for each of those, we come up with a statement using ands and then combining each one with an or, kind of like we've already done. So we would have not A and B and not C as my first one. And then I would combine that with an or to the next one. So that is, oh sorry, I'll just put the next one a little bit down a little bit further, is not A and B and C or so I've done one two next one is A and not B and not C or A and not B and C okay so I've I've put that into one line at the bottom of the screen there now I look at that expression and I just go wow uh, I don't even know where to start simplifying. So personally, I would often stop at just that and say, well, there's my expression and it's huge. So let's have a look at the exact same problem, but we'll go to our expression via a Kano map. So there's my truth table and let's bring in a three variable Kano map. Okay, so I am going to start roughly in the same place as before. So let's look at where this resulted in true. And it was 0, 1, 0. So let's find that box and put a 1 in it. The next one was 0, 1, 1. So let's put a 1 in there. Uh, we've got 1, 0, 0, which is over here. And we've got 1, 0, 1, which is over here. Now I can start to see a pattern. So I'm going to highlight that pattern. I've got a pair and another pair. Sorry, the yellow wasn't that uh, that legible. And let's have a look. Let's start with this guy over here. So this is cat being all numeric and stuff. So we've got 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1. And I can see that the A and the B are making a difference here, but the C isn't. So it's actually, for the first part, is not A and B. And we're going to all that together with whatever the next bit is. And let's look at the next one. And we've got 1, 0, 0 and 1, 0, 1. And again, C is not really making a difference. It's just the A and B. And this one is A and not B. So actually that C that was in that really ridiculously long expression really didn't make a difference at all. It, it didn't need to be there. Um, and so this is my simplified expression. And now, yet again, my knowledge of Boolean is telling me, hey, I'm seeing a pattern, and if I've got something that's 0, 1, or 1, 0, I can see that that is an exclusive OR. Okay? So rather than having about a gazillion gates in my circuit diagram, I would have ended up with just one. So the Kano map in this case has made my job so much easier. So if you have a problem where you're starting with a truth table, I suggest you start looking at that Kano map. Okay, good luck. It's been fun.